where is the money coming from? It's my question. Where did you get the money? Then I was You know, when I first saw this clip here, uh, well, this, this this part of the episode that we did cover on Patreon, if you're not a member, link is down below in the description. I was like, okay, she really, really wants to know where the money came from. She's really stressing. Where did the money come from? So much, so much. She just got so amped up. So amped up. But now I believe I have the answer to why Danielle not only wanted to know so bad where Yoan was getting his money for his business but also why she wants to leave you New York City and does not want to move to any other state and must leave America as a whole to live in the Domin Dominican Republic well ladies and gentlemen before we get into it please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and also like the video too but as per me just looking around on the internet and I happily Happened to come across a post, and this post sent me to this website itself in particular, where it is called Starcasm. And the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, it has now been revealed that Danielle is actually in oh bankruptcy. Well, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see right here, it says Danielle initially filed for bank. My apologies, I'm rushing myself. Danielle initially filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy aka voluntary repayment bankruptcy on january 22nd of 2022 a couple weeks later daniel applied to have her filing changed to chapter 7 bankruptcy aka liquidation bankruptcy so therefore ladies and gentlemen it seems to me as if daniel has got herself in one hell of a pickle the question is is she looking to leave America because she's looking to run away from her responsibilities of her being bankrupt? And also at the same time, is she now pressuring or at least trying to find out where your one's money is coming from in hopes that maybe, just maybe, she can use that money some way, somehow to pay off her own thing? I mean, that I cannot answer. I'll let you guys obviously have that conversation in the comment section. But whilst you're typing and, you know, having your own theories and whatnot, Let's continue with some more details around what is actually happening here. So it says here that according to the filing, Danielle and her had liabilities in the amount of two thousand, no, sorry, of two hundred and twenty-four thousand, okay, and five hundred and eighty-four point four forty-two um, dollars. Like that is an astonishing amount. But it continues by saying her monthly income was one thousand and three hundred less than her monthly expenses including the high new york rent danielle mentioned in the other way now of course as you can see here it does reference that she does say in the episode that she does pay up to four thousand for her apartment danielle or that's at least as she told johan it turns out that danielle was a little less than half right on the bankruptcy filing she lists her rental expenses at three thousand four hundred and seventy five a month that is not too far off ah uh, what is mostly wrong about Danielle's statement to Johan is her claim that she actually paid her rent. And here's the thing, Yo Johan 100% does believe that Danielle has got money because since 90 Day Fiance Love in Paradise and now 90 Day Fiance the other way, Danielle is always paying for everything that they do. I mean, listen so much that Danielle is even referenced to the fact of saying that I hope this man does not expect me to be a sugar mama because, well, she really can't. It's not possible to the slightest. And here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, we know that Danielle, her friend said in the most recent episode, hey, why don't you stay at your work for a little bit longer so you get that 15K extra retirement fee? She said, no, 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 it's okay. I want to I want to leave America and I want to move to Dominican Republic to be with my husband, okay? And they asked her, so we're going to do about money. She said, I'm just going to manifest it. Yes. I mean, make it make sense, but you can't make sense out of any cast that appears on this bloody TV show, can we now, ladies and gentlemen, let alone the network itself in particular. But at the same time, though, ladies and gentlemen, it does go down here to have another breakdown of how the expenses actually worked itself in particular. Now, here it does say Danielle's biggest debt listed in the filing was, um, was the 80k she owed to Easy Pass, which she described as a business debt. It then follows on by saying in second place was more than 60k in student loan debt, followed by 36k and um, Daniel owed for rent. There are numerous credit card companies and collection agencies listed as well, um, as well as four 
um, 4,600 that Daniel owed for parking tickets and penalties. Wow, man. This woman is absolutely crazy, man. She's wild. Like, come on. Parking tickets and penalties too? That is just stupid. But anyway, we continue. A discharge was granted to Daniel on May 19, 2022. Is um, the exempt from the discharge filing. But of course, it does give us a little bit of detail, obviously, how it all went down or how it all works. But literally, literally if you want to read that yourself, you can. You can pause it. Um, but I don't really feel like there's that much to add to the video if you, if you dig what I'm saying. But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a situation where Danielle um, is now, I guess, being exposed for why she allegedly wants to really leave America. Now, the question is, though, is she leaving America in hopes that her bankruptcy will not follow her and she'll be able to get away with her crimes? Is she leaving America? No, no, no. And now that she's discovered that Johan has money coming from somewhere that she doesn't know, is she now maybe hoping that she can find a way of using that money somehow, some way to go and pay off her debts? And also at the same time, she did she did want to pretty much force the idea of her, you know, taking over his business. Not taking over, but at least trying to do his books. But at the same time, though, was she trying to figure out his 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 outgoings and in and ingoings? for a purpose of our own now that is also the other question again that is your choice to let me know what you think in the comment section but also on top of that ladies and gentlemen there is a big big thing that nobody has actually realized or at least spoke about and i know why because it hasn't been mentioned in this season but back on 90 day fiance love in paradise danielle mentioned that she had a child at the age of 21 i believe and now her child happens to be her son, her son Thomas. So when it comes to Thomas himself in particular, he must be around the age 20, 21 now, because I believe Daniel is 42, maybe 43. So he's around the age 20, 20, 22. So if Daniel is in this one hell of a predicament of her own, you know, bankruptcy and her financials, I'm very curious where her child has been, where her child comes into this. And when I say that, what I mean is she is now dedicated to leave in America and she's now in the Dominican Republic and she said that she's going to be there for at least a year because initially she was meant to be there for a few weeks for her and Johan to then pretty much come over to the States but Daniel purposely did not file for that visa so therefore she's now told Johan that hey it's going to take up to a year for us to be able to move to America and she also made it clear that she doesn't even want to go back to America anyway so whether or not she, go, she comes back to America or not is a different conversation but she definitely wants to be away there for at least a year anyway. And I'm assuming that, yes, for her to see if she can make things work, you know, obviously in her new location. And if, I guess, they don't come after her, come after her for her bankruptcy situation. But either way, though, that is a year away from her child. Her child will not see his mom in person for a whole year. And I want to know is, well, all I want to know is how is her child surviving? Is her child now staying with the father? Because I can't remember if the father's still in the picture. Is the child... Um, in university, in college, I don't know, in some sort of scholarship where they've got accommodation. The question is, though, all I know is, is that regardless of the situation with her child, she is now choosing to abandon her child for a whole year, which I guess, depending on the situation, in my opinion, she's abandoned her child for the purposes of love and abandoned her child for the purposes of just her own failings. She's not exactly abandoned her child for the purpose of where she's got like an opportunity of business where, you know, it's good for her to leave and hurt and money and then come back, da 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 da. It's none of that. Everything is just for her own benefit, which is where it's quite sickening and quite sad. And it's crazy because she's not the only member of 90 Day Fiance of this season who's actually doing that. We've still got Chris who's now looking to leave her children with her own mother while she goes to um Colombia to meet her venezuelan girlfriend soon to be wife and then live there whilst her mother looks after her children even though her children are you know her children are grown are grown but she's leaving the responsibility to her mother make that make sense like what is up with these people abandoning their children we've seen time and time again so many of these cast members come in this with children that they even force into a life with a man or woman that they don't even know if they're even going to be with him or we get the ones that like, well, my child's old enough, I'm just going to abandon them and then go to X, Y, Z. Ah, uh, listen, the whole thing is a calamity. It's a bloody calamity. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll stop talking right there. You guys let me know what you're thinking down below. What do you think are her real intentions of going to Dominican Republic? And do you think she's trying to use Johan for his money that he doesn't have? Yes. Yes. Yes, or do you think she's going to manifest it? <laughs> Nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to catch the full reaction to the full episode of 90 Day Fiance, as well as other shows that I do cover on Patreon, such as a thousand pounds, a thousand pounds, best friends, my 600 pound life, Mouth of First Sight. Listen, guys, the link is down below, and we are soon to be covering the new season of Love is Blind as well, which can be awesome. 
But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the comment section. And hopefully on Patreon as well. We are done, we out, and peace. Oh.